Hi, I'm Dom. I'm part of the sales team here at Roofmaker. I'm here to show you how to correctly install your flat hinged opening roof light. Please check that you have all these components before you start. Your hinged opening roof window, the control box, a remote control and key remote. And finally, long screws. In addition, you will also need silicone adhesive sealant, we recommend a high quality product such as Dow Corning 791, materials to prepare a timber frame, drill bits and screws as required. Before you install your new roof light, you need to create a timber curb around the opening aperture. The aperture would need to match the internal size of the roof light. In this case, it would be a meter by 1.5. The curb should measure 70 mil in width to match the width of the roof light frame. We also recommend a minimum curb height of 25 mil from roof level, but you can go higher if you need to. Finally, if your roof doesn't already have a pitch between five to 15 degrees, you'll need to make sure that your upstand has a pitch between these two numbers so water can run off easily. Okay, you're now ready to install your roof light. This is quite straightforward as the unit comes as a single piece. So there's no real assembly required. However, these units are made to our normal high standards, meaning that there is a minimum weight of 95 kilograms for our smaller models. And as you see from the table, the heaviest hinged opener weighs in at 176 kilograms, meaning you would need a minimum of five people to lift it into place. And also please ensure that you take the necessary precautions for working at height. If you are purchasing a bespoke sized unit, we can advise on the weight. This unit comes standard with a rain sensor. It is advised that a small groove or notch, a maximum of 5mm in depth, is cut into your upstand in line with where the rain sensor will be positioned. This will allow you to run the wire through for your rain sensor. Before you lift the roof light into place, you need to mount the control box in the desired location, for example a ceiling void. You may put an access panel in at your discretion. We recommend you trial fit your roof light. Drill the holes for the electrical cables and get these connected to the control box by a qualified electrician. Bring your roof flashing up the side of your upstand and apply a thick bead of silicone all the way around the timber curb, about 20 millimeters from the outside edge. Then carefully place the roof light onto the curb so that it sits flush with the inner and outer edges. Now open the roof light and secure it to your upstand through the holes with the long screws provided in the top of the roof light's curb. For plaster finishing details, please refer to your fitting guide. We hope this video has helped to make the installation of your roof light easy and trouble free. If you have any questions or need further information, please contact our technical department who are always there to help. And finally, we are so confident in the quality of our roof lights, they come with a 20 year unit seal warranty. For further information, please visit our website www.roofmaker.co.uk